This is a Blue Sound Power Node Edge. It's a streaming amplifier and it's more affordable than most of the other Blue Sound products. And it's coming in at a price that most other companies just can't compete with. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Blue Sound Power Note Edge. If you are new here and you're not subscribed, now's the perfect time to subscribe. Why? Because we're almost at 199,000 subscribers. When we hit 200, we're gonna give away a whole bunch of stuff. Speakers, amps, DACs, turntables, streamers, a whole bunch of free hi-fi. If you wanna enter, the only thing you have to do is fill out the Google form. I will link it right here, also in the description, also in the pinned comment. And then follow me on Instagram, at Cheap Audio Man. But if you're already subscribed, if you don't have Instagram, it's okay. Just fill out the, it's okay. Just fill out the Google form. You'll be all good. It could happen in the next few days, so please subscribe, like this video. Let's talk about the blue sound. If you have followed my channel at all, when I started talking about music streamers, I raved about the blue sound. Not necessarily because of the hardware, although the hardware was always good, but the software. In my opinion, a streamer needs to be software centric. It needs to be easy for the user to get their music. Otherwise, they're not gonna use it. So if you have a great sounding streamer, the best sounding streamer ever, but it's hard to use, then you're not gonna use it. Not gonna do it. Remember that? Dana Carvey? So Blue Sound has always set the bar when it comes to streaming software. Now, Weem is getting closer, but I think Blue Sound was like, hold my cup of coffee, because they're actually putting out a new version of Blue OS this month. 4.0, 4.0. It's gonna have a slicker look. It's gonna have better home screen that's basically going to adjust to however you use Blue Sound. So whatever you use the most, it's gonna kind of populate on the home screen. Obviously a lot more changes. It's gonna have better and faster search, which amazes me considering that search function is pretty fast to begin with. Anyway, it's gonna be a big refresh coming out this month sometime. So if you have a Blue Sound device, keep an eye out for the new update. Should be pretty cool. Let's talk about the specs. Amplification, 40 watts into eight ohms at a reported THD of 0.008%. I don't know what it is into four ohms, but I know it drives four ohm speakers because I was driving the Bugard P300, which is not only a four ohm speaker, but it's got a sensitivity of 86 dB, which is not the easiest speaker load to drive. That's why I put it on the Power Node Edge, because if it can handle that speaker, chances are it can handle just about any other speaker out there. It's got a powerful quad core 1.8 gigahertz ARM Cortex A53 processor. There you go. Top mounted backlit capacitive touch controls right here. Okay, kind of track forward, track back, stuff like that. Personally, for me, when I have a streaming amplifier, it's up on my console and I'm not touching it, but if you have it close to you, you can skip tracks. Basic functionality. It's got built-in Wi-Fi, which is what I used. You can also hardwire it right here. Two-way Bluetooth, so you can actually connect wireless Bluetooth headphones or, or any Bluetooth device. If it's nighttime and your significant other is sleeping, but you still wanna watch Spider-Man 2, put your wireless earbuds in there. And then obviously you can Bluetooth to the device with any Bluetooth enabled cell phone, iPad, tablet. Got Apple AirPlay 2, also has Tidal Connect, Spotify Connect, and is Rune compatible. You control everything with a Blue OS app on your phone. Internal DAC supports 24-bit, 196 kilohertz tracks, and has a huge support of streaming software platforms like Deezer, Kobuz, Tidal, Amazon Music, Napster, Nap is Napster still a thing? TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Calm Radio, Sirius XM, and has Dolby Digital Decoding. What's on the back? On the back, it's 
pretty sparse back here, but you got everything you probably need. Over here, speaker binding post. Actually, pretty good speaker binding post for the price. This is $650, by the way, which is interesting because this is actually cheaper than standalone blue sound streaming devices with no amplifier. That's why I got really interested when they reached out to me and asked me if I would review this. And I said, yes, we'll come back to that later in the final thoughts. All right, over here, subwoofer output right here, HDMI eARC connection. Under here, you have an IR receiver for remote control. Right next to that, you have a dual optical or analog input the minis so if you're connecting a digital device optically you need the little tiny 3.5 millimeter connection or you can connect an analog device using a 3.5 millimeter connection you can take a turntable with an integrated phono preamp take the rcas and get a cable that takes two rcas down to one 3.5 millimeter connection and plug that right into your power node edge and now you're streaming music you're watching your movies and you're listening to your vinyl all in one little device. And on the bottom of this device, you have a threaded insert. So this can be hung anywhere on a wall, upside down, underneath a console. So this device can be put out of sight, out of mind for a very clean setup. Heck, you could put it behind the television since it works off of Wi-Fi. You can control volume, input selection, and everything else from your phone. You can also get a remote control. Uh, first thing that I like is Blue OS. I think Blue OS, as I kind of talked about before, is set the standard for what a streaming platform should be as far as a user experience, ease of use, and getting to listen to more music more quickly. Weem has caught up. There's other streaming platforms out there like PlayFi and Heos and up 4 stream or 4 stream, whatever it is, that don't even get close to what Blue Sound is like. Weem is the closest, but with the new update coming in a few weeks, Blue Sound is going to again widen their lead amongst the streaming platform pack everybody's chasing them hdmi input i was watching spider-man 2 i wasn't kidding about spider-man 2 the one with jamie fox in it where he becomes like the electro guy anyway i was amazed at the soundstage this thing threw but really that's more of a function of the speakers and the room you were in but i thought it was great i thought it was awesome i also had a subwoofer wirelessly connected you can't wirelessly connect this the power node edge to a subwoofer i was running into an svs wireless subwoofer adapter and then so anyway you just run your sub out here into the wireless and then it goes to your sub anyway i was having a ball having a blast sounded great you got bass management which means you can set the crossover point to your speakers which means if you have smaller speakers it's perfect so if you have something like the sony sscs5 that go down to about 50 hertz cross that thing over at 70 or 80 hertz Get your subwoofer crossed over at 70 or 80 hertz and it's going to sound great. Tone controls. So if you need a little bit more spice in your life on the top end, you just bump up the treble. You can reduce the bass. And with the Buchard P300 and the tonality of the Power Note Edge, I actually did have to reduce the bass a little bit. A little bit much. The amp and the Power Note Edge is really punchy, actually. I think if there was some tuning involved, I think they were smart because they tuned this to go with smaller speakers and they gave it some punch. It could be This could be pure speculation on my part though. It's a very punchy amplifier though, which is good because a lot of times class D low power amplifiers, the last thing they are is punchy. It had enough power to drive the P300s. I mentioned it before, low 80s is what i was running with transients into like 83 84 which is really loud a lot of people don't think 83 db is loud but it's really loud and i was able to put this thing full tilt with no distortion going into the boot cards i think a better speaker speaker that's going to be more complementary to the power node edge it's going to be something like emotiva b1 plus b2 plus JBL Stage A130, Sony SSCS5, Yamo C93 Twos, something Klipsch. Klipsch is actually going to sound 
really good on these. So RP600M Mark II, RP500M Mark II, RP8000F, all the Klipsch speakers are gonna sound really, 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 really good on this thing. And I love the price. I think we already talked about price. Anyway, they're a Rillic H50 is $400. I'm gonna say terrible. I'm, that was a terrible product. It's $400 too, and it has HDMI input. Has tone controls, but they were super heavy handed and you can't really use them. Had a streaming platform, but it was, wasn't was gapless, wasn't intuitive. The search, anyway, I couldn't believe that the H50 was $400. Now, when you have something that's $400 and then you have an actual product from Blue Sound at $650, it becomes a no brainer because this is an actual component. That, the H50, was something trying to be an actual component and failing miserably. I don't want to pile on about Aurelic because they do have good pro other good products that are really affordable. But $400 for their streaming amplifier with HDMI eARC, they need to stay in their lane. And their lane is not anywhere close to the lane that this one's in. Okay, other competition. Looking at the SVS. SVS, what is it? Sound Bass Pro, HDMI eARC, way more powerful amplifier. I think it has a better DAC inside. What it doesn't have though is blue sound. So if you're looking at this from a pure hardware play, I think the SVS Sound Bass Pro beats the Power Node Edge sonically, definitely from a power perspective, but where the Power Node Edge walks all over the SVS sound base is when it comes to the streaming platform. You're getting Blue OS with the Power Note Edge, you're getting PlayFi. And although PlayFi has gotten a lot better, it is still a C tier streaming platform. Okay, what I don't like. I don't like that this doesn't have preamp outputs or at least a digital output. Why? And I think they missed an opportunity here because this could be the entry point into the Blue OS ecosystem. You can get this to start off with, hook up some speakers, hook up your TV, stream your music, hook up a turntable. And then when you get a little bit further on in your journey and you replace this with maybe a better amplifier, you could take this, go put it in your office on a better DAC or a better amplifier. I don't think it would be too difficult to put a digital output on this thing or RCA outputs. They do it on the regular Blue Sound products like the Node and Node X. I wish they would do it on their Power Nodes. I have a buddy that had the Power Node, the previous generation, the more expensive generation, and I was shocked that it didn't have preamp outputs or at least a digital output. So anyway, that's about the only thing that I had to really complain about with this product. It's heavy, it's really well built, this feels like a solid component. Sounds like a solid component. Little bit warm in the presentation, but if you put some leaner speakers on it, it's gonna bounce it out, but you're never gonna get that true razor sharp resolution from this thing. It's a little bit fuzzy, but that's okay. It's $650. I don't think this thing is meant to compete with their own NAD higher end amplifiers running Blue Sound OS. Why? Because the hardware, how this thing sounds, and it's interesting, bear with me. How this thing sounds should not be the main objective with a streaming amplifier. I know, that's crazy. It should be the user experience. And Blue Sound has it nailed with the user experience, ease of use, and the intuitive nature of the application, and it's only gonna get better with the new release. I'll be doing another video about kind of cobbling together a little bit of a more higher resolution system for lower prices, but it's not gonna be this easy and it's not gonna be this convenient. There is other options out there, but this is meant for convenience. You get all the advantages of Blue Sound at a decent price in a very convenient package. Um, I'm really impressed. I wish it had preamp outs. I wish it had a digital output. That's legit the only complaint I have about this. They need to come out, Blue Sound needs to come out with a standalone node of no frills, stripped down node with maybe a digital output, maybe eARC. I know that's asking a lot, but a stripped down version that comes in around $400. I think that at that point, they're really gonna start competing with Wien because 
Blue Sun is actually moving down market with some of these products, which is smart, where Weem is moving up market. So once that delta gets pretty slim, it's going to be difficult to choose the Weem over a Blue Sound if you can get a Blue Sound for 150 or 200 more dollars. Anyway, I'm really impressed with what Blue Sound's doing, and I'm super glad that the Edge exists. I think it fills a void, a, a needed void, because the Chinese streamers are starting to catch up, and I'm glad that Blue Sound is making things more affordable. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheapaudioman. Every Sunday night, we have patron-only Zooms, patron-only Discord, patron-only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music, Tidal, or Rune, and then play it through your new Paranode Edge. You get a trial period, even if you quit, I get a couple of dollars. You can also use the links in the description. That will be an affiliate link, which means if you click and you buy, I get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more, so it's great to support the channel. You can also buy me a cup of coffee. Co copy? Coffee. Down at the bottom of the video, there's a thanks button. Give me a couple of dollars. But don't feel compelled to buy me anything or ever give me any money. Finally, you can just like this video and subscribe. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu unless you have it connected through HDMI eARC into your power node edge. Binge listen using the Blue OS streaming service and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.